If you love washing your car, this video is for you. If you hate it, well, this video is still for you. There are tons of different car washing kits out there, and a lot of them are great. I'm gonna show you one kit today that works exceptionally well. Now, we just came back from a 2,000 mile trip, and even though our car doesn't really look that dirty, I'm still gonna wash it because you need to maintain your vehicle to keep it looking good. If you don't, your car's gonna look like crap. And why are you watching this video if you don't care about your car? If you have an older vehicle that is still in good condition, wash it, maintain it, because newer cars are so expensive. Keep your older car and make it look awesome. Now this kit is from Next Level Car Care. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Now the bucket comes with everything you need, which is really cool, and I love the style of this too. It's like a translucent dark plastic. Now the cover of this also doubles as a seat. So you can actually use this to sit down and I don't know, do the wheels or do something else on the vehicle, which is really cool. I don't think you really wanna step on this, but it definitely doubles as a seat. Okay, you need to come closer for this because when you see the quality up close, that's what makes the difference for me. This wash mitt right here, this type of microfiber is my favorite. I'm not a fan of the chenille type wash mitts. It's just a personal preference. I like this, and this is the reason why. The softness, the plushness, it is very high quality. Very, very nice. All the different high-end detailing companies offer these types of wash mitts. It's also a glove, so you can put your hand in it if you want. Oh, you know what? And it's sewn in the middle here inside, so my fingers actually create this little like mitten effect. You can actually kind of see how it's split. It's sewn in the middle there, so you can hold on to it. That's very cool. I like that. I don't usually put my hand in it and use it like that, but again, high quality wash mitt. And I also appreciate that everything is in bags because if you just put towels and wash mitts in a bucket like this with other things, it can cross-contaminate or things can get stuck in the fibers and that's not a good thing. So I do suggest companies put their towels and wash mitts in a plastic baggie like this. It protects them. I also see a little towel here. This didn't come in a plastic bag, but I think it's okay for now. Very nice plush microfiber. Now we have two giant drying towels. These are massive. I love this. They're so soft. I want to use this as a bath towel. It's so awesome. Now this is twisted loop. Twisted loop means exactly what it looks like. The little loops here are actually twisted. You can kind of see that right there. And that just helps with absorbency and softness and plushness of the towel. Now you get two of these. I'm impressed. Here's the other one. I'm gonna leave it in the package because I only need one today. I also see another little white microfiber towel in here. I don't know if this is like for interior stuff or glass, but this is a super ultra fine microfiber towel. Now to the products themselves. Again, each in an individual bag, which I really like. The wheel and tire cleaner. Oh, it's like a Capri Sun. Who remembers those? All right, so as it says down here, environmentally friendly products, safe for polished aluminum wheels, and it is for both wheels and tires. The next one is their auto shampoo. Oh, that smells really nice, almost herbal. Very nice. The next one is a ceramic spray wax. Oh, that smells really nice also. So a ceramic spray wax that can be used on pretty much any surface. An interior cleaner. So an all-purpose interior cleaner, and it does have protection in it from UV. These types of products are great for maintaining the interior of your vehicle. If your vehicle isn't that dirty, these types of products are great. And last but not least, we have their tire protectant gel. And this is a water-based gel as well. So it's not a like a super sticky, greasy type of uh, tire protectant. And this can be used on trim as well. Even though it may not specify, it says tire protectant gel, these are the types of products that can be used on rubbers and plastics. And of course, as you've seen, the bucket itself, a semi-translucent dark bucket with a little grit guard in the bottom. So we're going to use the shampoo today and I'm not gonna use a pressure washer. I'm gonna use my garden hose like a normal person would that's not a professional detailer. Oh yeah, and the little red applicator here is for the tire gel. These types of brushes here for cleaning your wheels are very cheap and easily accessible. You can buy them at local auto stores or at Walmart. So I'm gonna pour a couple of glugs in here. You can be precise if you want, I'm not worried about it. And even a little glug in the wheel bucket. It's a really, really thick shampoo. If I need more, I'll add more.
Now I do like to start rinsing the vehicle first before I put any wash mitt to paint. This is knocking down any heavy debris. You can do a pre-wash if you want, but let's keep things simple for now because we're washing at home and you may not have all of those things. Pre-washing with a certain product is better and safer. But once again, if you're washing your car at home, you don't necessarily need all of those things to still enjoy the process. Now you can buy a foam cannon for your garden hose. That will speed things up and again, make things more enjoyable. But I am finding that the soap seems to clean well. It's got enough lubricity to it. And again, if I need to add a little bit more soap because I want more foam, then I can do that. And I am going to periodically go back to the bucket, rinse out my mitt with one bucket. We're not even doing a two bucket method here because once again, if you're not a professional, you don't necessarily need to do that. That's just gonna take up more time and you need more equipment to do that as well. Just more stuff taking up your garage or wherever you keep all your car wash stuff if you don't have a garage. Now is using a foam cannon of the two bucket method safer or better? Well, better, I don't really think there's necessarily a better. Safer, yeah, I would have to agree that it would be safer because when you apply foam, the soap, right to the vehicle after you've rinsed it, there's a ton of lubrication there. And then you're just using your bucket as a rinse bucket. And you can just use one or two mitts and that's it. So don't get too hung up on all of the different methods and rules that some of the detailing channels or forums tell you to do. This is just for the person at home who wants to wash their car, keeping it simple, and you don't have a lot of time or money or space to keep all of that equipment. That's why I'm keeping things simple in this video. Now, if you really love your car and you have the money and the time and the space to get all of that equipment and the different buckets and the foam cannon and the pressure washer, I mean, go crazy. I have many, many videos that show all the different methods and fun tools that you can use. And again, if you're a car enthusiast, that's just gonna really make things more enjoyable when you are washing your car, because all those tools are fun. They are pricey if you are not a professional detailer or if you just don't have the income to put into all of those tools and products. Now, if these types of videos are enjoyable to you, if they're relaxing, if you get a lot of value from them, then you may wanna stick around. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll get updates on our videos and you won't miss stuff. Because missing stuff is annoying, especially when I have new videos coming out every single week. Now, is the shampoo strong enough to tackle these bugs? Um, yeah, actually it is. But then again, I, I do have a variety of different sealants on here that are protecting. The more you clean and protect your vehicle, the easier it is to clean. And that's just the case with my vehicle. I am cleaning it on a regular basis, always trying fun new detailing products on here, even just using a good wax or sealant, using it on a regular basis. That is key, that's super, super important. Keep your vehicle clean and protect it. It will always clean up easier. Yeah, the bugs are coming right off, just using the shampoo and this mitt. I'm not even using any other cleaners at all. If you need a stronger bug cleaner because of where you are, where you live and you get a lot of bugs, or you're not cleaning your car as often, there's plenty of options out there. Now for the wheels and tires, I'm applying this liberally, even in the wheel wells. It's got a nice pleasant scent, like a cherry scent. 
not too caustic or anything. I'm going to use this older wash mitt to clean the rest of the wheel. You can even get inside the wheel a little bit with this. Just makes it easier. Nice large surface area. You can even clean the inside of the wheel wells with this. And just dedicate this as your wheel mitt. This will never touch the paint, obviously. That seems to clean really well. I can see it pulling off the grime and junk on the wheels and the tires. Now the reason I foam my wheel bucket is because sometimes these brushes can have a lot of kickback. When you're working with spokes that are a little bit tighter, this brush will kick back a lot. But I have found that the foam at least mitigates it a little bit. It doesn't completely take it away, but it definitely helps. Now after I'm done washing everything, I'm going to rinse out all of the brushes and mitts to make sure that they're all clean of debris and then I will either hang them up to dry or put them on like a rack. That way they can dry without molding. Or you can just put the grit guard back in and put the wash mitt right in the grit guard, like that. And it will dry just fine, because it's raised up. All right, now let's get to drying the vehicle. And here's a couple of options. You could just use the towel and just dry the entire vehicle down. That's totally fine. Or you could use a product in between your towel and your paint that does two things. It lubricates and adds protection. Now, what do you mean by lubricating? Why do you need that? Well, some darker colored vehicles, their paint is delicate and any type of wiping is going to cause some sort of light light swirling or wipe marks for some cars it's just inevitable and there's not much you can do but you can mitigate it by using some sort of product between the towel and the paint this product here doesn't necessarily specify that that's what you can do with it but typically these types of products these spray on ceramic types of sealants can be used like that. I'm gonna use it like that and see what happens. And I'm not really too concerned because what's the worst that can happen? The protection might not be as durable. That's okay. You can just add another layer of this in a dry application after the vehicle is dried. So don't overthink that. Just use a little bit of logic and use a product like this to add that lubrication onto your vehicle. So I'm gonna spray the vehicle first and I'm gonna spray the towel a little bit as well, just a fine mist. Mm, that smells awesome. And there's different ways of drying. You can be ultra protective and just drag the towel across and perfectly dry. There's, there's like no streaking and it's perfect. That's, that's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get that close up. Perfect. Big drying towels like this are awesome. And I think essential to drying a vehicle properly. Drying it with little towels is just annoying. Now, if you're drying a large vehicle, eh, I mean, even a big towel like this will eventually get some saturation. So it's good we have two. Mm. 
it is so nice to use detailing products that work well and smell nice. This entire process is just more enjoyable. So with the entire vehicle dried, the towel is not completely saturated. In fact, I don't even think it's enough to even wring out. There's nothing dripping from it. So it's enough to dry a mid-size SUV like this. And there's still some dry spots to it as well. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. Hang this up to dry like you would a bath towel. Don't just put it in a pile somewhere like this because it will mold if you do that. Hang it up somewhere so that it can air dry properly. And I would maybe use this twice, maybe three times, and then wash it. Now, what about washing your towels before you use them? Yeah, I mean, I, I do suggest that. I think it's a good idea. I use these right out of the package because I just opened the box. I didn't really need to wash them. They actually worked really, really well. Kind of as a general principle, it is good to wash your towels before you use them, but I leave that up to your discretion. And if you're wondering where and how you're going to hang up your towels, I would definitely recommend these magnetic towel holders. They are awesome. They're very strong and it holds up the weight of this towel really well. In fact, yeah, I actually had to pull it down with a little bit of strength to actually make it fall off the metal. The magnet is very strong. So I recommend this for home and garage use or in your mobile detailing setup, but this is how you should be hanging your drying towels. Now, what if you do see some light streaking from just, you know, overusing the product? Not a big deal. Again, you could just use a damp towel, spray a little bit more of the product if you want, and basically wipe it onto the surface and you're good to go. But this is going to add more protection to your vehicle. And you can put this on everything. I wouldn't suggest it on your windshield. I like to use dedicated ceramic coatings for my windshield. Now, this is a new windshield that I put in here because I had a huge rock chip. I had a local company come out. They were awesome. I'll have their info down below if you're in the Richmond area, but they're mobile. They come right to you. Their customer service is fantastic and I highly recommend them. And then I had my buddy, Tony Ralder from Ralder's Details tint the inside of my windshield. So now the glass is brand new, it's tinted and I love it. Oh yeah, and my entire hood is PPF'd, paint protection filmed, with Optical, which is from Car Supplies Warehouse. Oh, I love this stuff. Now for the interior of the vehicle. It's not trashed in any way. So a light cleaner is all I need. Now this interior detailer is all I need to clean the interior. Now I also brought it to my mechanic and got an oil change and Sometimes you get a little bit of grime here on the steering wheel or on the door, not a big deal. My mechanic is awesome. So if there's a little bit of grime here and there, I really don't care. I know some people will say that he's not a good mechanic. You should go to someone else or you should tell him. Look, I don't care. He is a good guy and he is an awesome mechanic and he has figured out issues on this vehicle that nobody else could figure out. So no, he's an awesome mechanic. I'm definitely not worried about little, little fingerprints and grime here and there. I'm a detailer, I can take care of it. Now I am gonna turn on the vehicle because that area is disgusting. Now this is also completely safe for your screens. In fact, you can spray it right on. Don't be scared anymore. Newer screens are not going to get damaged and this is not a high alkaline all-purpose cleaner. It's not gonna stain anything. In fact, it's made for this exact purpose. It's gonna clean and it's going to protect without any issues. That's what it's designed to do. There's always junk in these little areas here on these little areas here. And this lip right here, oh yeah, dust collects in there all the time. Clean that all out. Same with this area. 
You'll get crumbs in here from eating your Chick-fil-A or your McDonald's or whatever your poison is. You can spray directly onto here or onto your towel. Don't worry if it gets onto your gauge cluster because it's not going to stain it. Once again, it is not a high alkaline product. I would not do this if it was an all-purpose cleaner because if you get little spray particles of overspray on your gauge cluster here, it can stain your plastic. Use this on everything, your dash, even your steering wheel. It does not create any type of greasy, slippery, dangerous stuff here. It's perfect. It cleans and protects as it should. Whoops. Even here, there's a little bit of dirt from where our elbows hit. I'm going to spray it down, agitate it with the brush. Or you can grab a scrubby or any other cleaning thingamajiggy you want. Wipe it down and you've cleaned and protected in that one step. All right, very nice. Now, does it have enough strength to clean something like this? Wow, that built up really quick. I guess we're gross. Well, let's see. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I think you get the idea. All right, not bad. I need to get into that lower part of the E there and a little bit of the S with the brush, but I'm doing it with one hand. So let me try it with the camera down. Oh, that's much better. So yes, it definitely does have strength to be able to clean some pretty gross stuff. Now, what about this area? I could just pull this out and hose it down and scrub it outside. Totally an option, but let's do it this way. Now this is not gonna leave a super, super slippery surface, but clean plastic is naturally slippery anyway. So let this dry down, and if you need to wipe it down with more towels and, and really get any type of potential slipperiness gone from this plastic, then you can do that. Don't worry, this product does not leave any type of super, super slippery type of surface. Super, super slippery, super, super slippery, super, super slippery, super, super slippery. Yeah, that's pretty easy to say. Now I think the tire cleaner and the wheel cleaner did a really, really good job. There's no greasiness, there's nothing on the tire left. So let's use the tire gel to add protection, but also add a little bit of pop to these tires. So this is a really thick, wow, it's a really thick type of gel. So far, the application is very nice. The tires do look good. It is absorbing into the rubber a little bit faster, but each tire is going to be different also, so results may vary. Let's let this dry, and then we will go back to it and see if we need to put a second application. So after hitting all four tires, I really worked in the product well into the rubber, and it looks really, really nice. There might be some little dry areas there that I can just go back over and kind of even out the product, but we're not looking at a super, super high gloss here. This is more of a natural finish, a more satin finish. In my opinion, I think is really nice and I prefer this for my own vehicles and also for my customers' vehicles. I don't like high gloss, shiny tires. That can cause a lot of sling depending on the product and I just don't like the look of it. This is what I like the look of. So that's what we're achieving here with this dressing. I think it's really nice. So overall, I think these products are great. They worked as intended, 
And I love that the kit comes with all the basics that you need. Of course, you may need other things like other brushes and more towels and a vacuum and a garden hose and all of that stuff, but that kind of goes without saying. What a lot of people have problems with is finding the right products. They think they have to get the best products or perfect products and there is no such thing. Yes, there might be some products that perform better than others in certain scenarios, but find what products work for you. I definitely suggest the Next Level Car Care products. They're great. And I love that it comes in the kit. The products are important. The towels and the wash mitts are also very important. And these are high quality ones. They're not cheap. So I'll have links to these products down below if you're interested. If you want to enjoy washing your car, whether you love to do it already, these products are great. You'll love them. Or you hate washing your car, maybe these products will change your mind and make things more enjoyable and easier. Now, Next Level is offering a 20% discount using my code Miranda20. So enter that code at the website and you'll get 20% off. So if you enjoy washing your cars on the weekend, then check out my weekend wash series. I haven't really labeled them weekend washes, but that's really what this is. So I'll put a playlist here of our weekend washes. I think you'll enjoy them. Mm -hmm.